going to do this clip all alone, and it relates to the issue of, um, you know, the national interest of the United States. And why was something like the Apache video uh, classified in the first case? I don't see how it's in the, you know, best interest of the United States to hide this. And Julian Assange has a very good answer to this um, when he's asked specifically about how that Apache video might be dangerous. Uh, there's a lot of things that could be considered. Julian said some, I think, that were more to the point. The guy brings up the fact that the soldiers are laughing at killing the people. So, um, here we go. Of U.S. Embassy diplomatic cables. We would have released them. Yeah. You would? Yeah. Because? Well, because these sort of things reveal uh, what the true state uh, of... Um, say, Arab governments are like, the true human rights abuses are in those governments. If you look at declassified cables, uh, that's the sort of material that's there. So, so let's talk a little more broadly about this. I mean, in general, what's your philosophy? Why is it right to encourage leaking of secret information? Yeah, well, there's a question as to what sort of information is important in the world. What sort of information can achieve uh, reform? And there's a lot of information. So information that organizations are spending economic effort into concealing, uh, that's a really good signal that, that when the information gets out, there's a hope of it doing some good. Because the organizations that know it best, that know it from the inside out, are spending work to conceal it. Um, and that's what we've found in practice, and that's what uh, the history of journalism is. But are there risks with that, um, either to the individuals concerned, or, or indeed to uh, society at large where leaking can actually have an unintended consequence? Yeah, not that we've seen anything we've released. I mean, we have a harm minimization policy. We have a way of, of dealing with information that has sort of personal, uh, personally identifying information in it. But um, there are legitimate secrets. Uh, you know, your records with your doctor, that's a legitimate secret. Um, but we deal with whistleblowers that are coming forward that are really sort of well motivated. So, so they are well motivated, and what would you say to, for example, the, um, you know, the parent of, of someone whose son is, is out serving the U.S. military, and he says, you know what, you, you've put up something that someone had an incentive to put out. It shows a U.S. soldier laughing at, at people dying. You know, that gives the impression, has given the impression to millions of people around the world that U.S. soldiers are inhuman people. Actually, they're not. My son isn't. How dare you? What would you say to that? Yeah, we do get a lot of that. Um, but remember, the people in Baghdad, the people in Iraq, the people in Afghanistan, they don't need to see the video. Uh, they see it every day. So it's not going to change their opinion. It's not going to change their perception. That's what they see every day. Um, it will change the perception and opinion uh, of the people who are paying for it all. Um, and that's our hope. So, exactly, you know, and... and so the best interest of the United States is not represented by hiding things from us that we care about. I mean, we care about the laughter. If there's something, a crime committed, we care about that. We've stated how, what we think is right and wrong, and maybe we'd want to state it before. Um, uh, we have problems, even like, uh, you know, shows of respect to the local people. You know, we might need to have some policies on that. So even if there's no law now, we have to have the knowledge to, to think about how we want ourselves to um, behave when we're going on these missions. Because those militaries, that's us, that's our name. You know, we're all invested in that, whether we like it or not. So, um, you know, when people say, oh, but light is good, so doesn't that mean it should shine everywhere? Well, there is no absolute principle like that, okay? The light does help situations that need to be cleaned up. But, you know, we don't need to clean up the situation between you and your doctor. You know, if the doctor it turns out to be, never have a medical practice or something like that, he might have to be prosecuted, and you might be willing to let those records be used to a certain degree to prosecute him. And uh, in that situation, you'd start to get into this issue, even with private medical records, okay? And I would side on the fact that the individual they're private for gets to decide that, because I think people will help in endeavors like that. But when you have something that starts out as a group effort and it's corrupt, where is the privacy between this guy in this department and this guy in this department as a legal right? You know, especially if it's in the government, but really in, in any public endeavor. So 
Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the BP uh, leaks. He says he has lots of. All right, cheers, and I hope you follow this guy.